All right, guys, today in the gym for the first time in about five days. Sinus infection, got the antibiotic for it, but just has kicked my butt. And I get this once or twice every winter. So in the gym here today, doing things a little bit different, but modifying it, usually I have 90 minutes. Uh, our workouts on the Fitness Culture app, we can change from 30, 60, or 90 minutes. I'm changing mine from the 90 minute one to the 60 minute one, and I'm actually combining chest and back, meaning I'm not gonna be hitting arms or shoulders at all today. Might do one little thing at the end for shoulders. Three things for chest, three things for back, and then we finish off with a little bit of core and one shoulder finisher. But I don't have right now the strength or kind of immune system to do the whole 90 minute workout. So I'm minimizing, I'm shrinking down my workout, focusing on weak areas, things that I need to improve on. So starting off with close grip bench. Um, this is for speed right now. And one of the things we've talked about in the past want to again touch on today I see a lot of people benching wrong and what I mean by that is how we set up but also where we put the bar in our hands so we want to be a neutral not here but a neutral forcing the load is stacked and what I mean by that is a lot of times I see people benching with their wrists completely bent back we want to meet we don't want straight up but we don't want straight back we want to beat about 30 degrees there and what this is gonna do, A, I actually feel it different by because I'm stacking properly. And when you're stacking properly, it takes kind of a little bit more of my anterior delt out of the play. You know, I'm not saying that's scientific, but it also is ideal for strength as well. So bench pressing here, we're gonna start from a locked out position each time. Lock out, come back to start. We got three reps, quick. I got pressure in my heels, pressure in my butt, and then pressure in my scapula. <sighs> Wrist angle at 30. Up, re rack. Two, three. We have five sets of that. Gotta be quick. Next up, we have incline bench, upping the volume on this as well. So we have 12 reps. We just were doing three reps, but with really explosive form locking out. This one, Again, good form, but upping those reps to 12. Still focusing on working the chest. And what I mean by that is get a good setup. Heels pressing through, butt touching the pad, shoulder blades touching the pad. And you notice my head stays on the pad too. I'm not pressing like this. So I'll get in this nice position. 12 reps here. There's times I get kind of going too fast. And remember, oh, check your form, check your form. So it's like, I reset the lats down and back, reset the scapula, make sure my butt's in contact with the pad and get those wrists at a good angle at three sets here. All right, third and final exercise we're doing, an incline rotating dumbbell fly. So we're gonna set up on a bench like we would for just a normal fly, but what we're gonna be doing, coming down to the bottom, rotating, supinated grip, and then coming back up. And I like to kind of make it one continuous movement. So I kind of come up into a neutral grip, pronated, down at the bottom, supinate, and then come back to that neutral. Even if you just want to come down, come down nice and wide, supinate, go back and then up. That works as well. Ugh. 10 reps there. And then I like in between these, just kind of lean on this bench. Just keep that chest flexed. Just 10 seconds isometric hold and then 60 seconds rest, jumping into it again. So got three sets of 10 reps here, then we're gonna jump into back. Definitely feeling skinny. Weighed 208 today, which for me is about as light as I've been in the last little bit. But again, getting sick definitely doesn't help that out. I am of that old school like idea, feed a cold, starve a fever. I didn't have a fever and I was definitely trying to eat, but again, I felt like I couldn't really even taste. So. Knock on wood, I don't think it was COVID. I think that's just what everyone initially runs to now when they don't feel good. Oh, it's probably COVID. All right, last set. All right, time for back pull-ups. So we're gonna be switching up, not only how wide our hands are, but also the orientation. Wide behind, in front, supinated or a chin up, and then a neutral grip. Locked out at the bottom, coming up all the way, training some quick twitch muscle fibers. As soon as we hit that lengthened in our, in our lat muscles, we're going again. So again, I'm hoping to get about eight here with, with quality reps. First one's gonna be behind the neck. We specifically went from 
hardest to easiest. So as I've gotten more fatigued, I'm taking about 60 seconds rest. We're going to an easier grip, but still the same number of reps. So start it out nice and wide. That's the hardest. This would be second hardest. These are easiest for me. Not the prettiest of pull-ups there. Being quick twitch at the bottom, as explosive as we can get on a pull-up without letting our form just go to shit. So it's interesting. That last like inch, really start feeling that. So all right guys, we did our, our pull-ups. We really, really tried to recruit some quick twitch muscle fibers. So over here on the bent over rows, kind of continuing with that, we only have three reps, but they're gonna be one and one quarter. You can either set up from the ground and go from there or kind of settle into it by pushing those hips back. That way all of, we're, all of that tension's in our hamstrings now. We're just holding that weight, row up, all the way down, one quarter, and then just let it drop and go again. Drop, three reps. So really, 1.25 reps times three. Last thing we're gonna do for back is gonna be a superset little rope pullover with pretty much a seated neutral grip row. We've done a, a pull down, we've done a row. Row was really lower reps, so we're gonna kind of facilitate that with a little bit more volume in these two exercises. Again, just going back and forth. Eight reps here, eight reps there. Trying to keep it nice and high. A lot of rear delt, taking about 60 seconds, and then jumping back onto the rope. Definitely can tell, tell them fatigue just bah. We got one more exercise for shoulders, and we're gonna get done in under 60 minutes here. As of right now, I would say I'm 50-50 on running this half marathon. Not gonna do much for the, for the self-esteem. Last five days, feels like my lungs kind of are on fire right now. It could just be a good, benchmark to kind of see where I'm at to then continue to train and set out to do a marathon because that's always been one of my goals and I think turning 39 might be nice to just check off that box before, before I hit the big 4-0. I never thought I'd hit 40. Hit chest, hit back. Last thing we're going to do to wrap up this workout, something for those lateral. Call it medial. I like to call it lateral head of the deltoid. Prison push-ups. If you guys have been watching for a while, you might have seen these before. I like finishing with them. A, it's kind of a good cardiovascular workout, but just utter fatigue with the shoulder. So push up, stand up, hands up over the head. I like to touch my knuckles. Two push ups. Two, three, three, up to 10. So I don't know how many that is by the time we get them all done, but it's enough to blow up the shoulders and anterior, especially if we start doing the push ups right. So push ups have to be all the way down, all the way up. If you want to make this super hard, go a hand release push-up. So hand release, especially if we want to do chest all the way down, hand release and up. Here we go. Definitely the hardest set of prison push-ups I've done. Formal's immaculate. Oh, Christian, you're up next. I'm gonna try to film this even though I'm shaking so bad. Ready? All right, let's go. Hand release, there you go. Nice. Those hand release are no joke. Christian's got a, he's got long arms too. And he's 6'4", come on. Have you ever done these before? No. Yeah, buddy. Get that butt up. There you go. Good job. Last set of this. <laughs> they get you. Who, who would have thought just touching your hands above your head would be so hard? Come on. Come on. There you go. Finish off. Yes, sir. Good work, brother. Good work. You feeling freaking? You feeling so wide right now? You just feel all pumped up. I've never had such a hard time. I know, right? Is it focused on me? Oh God, I can't look. <laughs> I can't look. Wide. 
<laughs> oh, it is focused. I'm gonna start vlogging on this thing. This thing is freaking A1, man. You're dead, man. You're dead, man. So if you, if you guys want to just maximize your time, if you're maybe you're on the road or got a hot date and wanna look jacked and wide, do some prison push-ups.